Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be replacing the hard drive in a 2012 Mac Mini. We've already gathered our materials, shut down, unplugged, and have placed the Mini on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to flip the Mac Mini over. Rotate the bottom cover counterclockwise until the two white dots are aligned. You can then lift the cover off using your nylon pry tool if necessary. First, we need to remove the memory modules. To do this, gently pull out on the retaining clips until the top module pops up, then gently pull it straight out. Repeat the process for the lower module. Next, use your Torx T6 screwdriver to loosen these three screws that hold the fan in place. Once you've done that, gently lift the fan up and to the side to reveal the fan connector. Use your nylon pry tool to gently lift up on the connector to detach it from the logic board. Be careful to lift up on just the connector and not the socket that it's in. You can now set the fan aside. Next, remove these three 2mm hex screws. If you don't have a hex wrench, you can use your Torx T8 instead. If you do, use a light touch to avoid stripping the screws. You can now remove these two Torx T8 screws. Gently lift the antenna grate up and slide it out off to the side. This black cable goes to the airport antenna, which we'll need to disconnect. The airport cable is attached underneath this flap. Move the flap aside and gently lift the connector free. You can then set the antenna grate aside. Remove this Torx T6 screw near the back of the Mini. Then gently slide the cowling out and set it aside. Next, use your nylon pry tool to gently lift the SATA connector up and out of its socket. You should now be able to pull the hard drive out of the Mini. To attach the new drive, we'll first need to remove some hardware from the original drive. To remove the SATA ribbon cable, you first need to peel off the small piece of tape holding it on. Once the tape is removed, the ribbon cable connector will slide right off. Next, remove these two mounting pins using your Torx T8 screwdriver. You can now set your original drive aside. We can install any 2.5 inch SATA drive, whether it's platter based or solid state. For this installation, we're going to use an OWC Mercury Extreme Pro 6G SSD. First, take the ribbon cable you removed from the original drive and attach it to the new one. It should just slide into place. Next, with the ribbon cable side facing away from you, rotate the drive 90 degrees counterclockwise and attach the two mounting pins on that side. Your drive is now ready to install. To help seat the drive, slide a business card in so that it sits along the ridge inside the Mini. This will help support the drive and make it easier to position the pins in the two grommets. You can then slide the drive into place. It may take a little maneuvering to get the drive to seat correctly. Once the drive is seated, you can remove the business card. Next, connect the SATA cable by lining its connector over the connector on the logic board and gently snapping the two together. Then, slide the cowling back into place and reattach the lower screw that holds it in. To reattach the connector on the airport antenna to the connector on the board, simply pull the cover back, line the connectors up, and press them together. You can then replace the cover. 
Slide the antenna grate back into place and maneuver it so that it sits flush. Then, reattach the two Torx T8 screws that hold the drive to the grate. You can now reattach the three hex screws around the edge. If you're using your Torx T8 screwdriver to do this, you need to be extremely careful not to tighten them too hard or you'll strip the screws. Now, reattach the fan cable to its connector on the logic board Set the fan into place. And tighten the three Torx T6 screws that hold it in. Finally, you can replace the memory. The notch on the memory modules line up with the pins in the memory slots. Place the first module into the lower slot at about a 40 degree angle until it's fully seated then push down on the outer edge to lock it into place. Repeat the process for the top module. Put the bottom cover onto the Mini, making sure that both the white dots line up. Then, rotate the bottom cover clockwise until the black and white dots are aligned. You may now flip your Mini over, hook it back up, and turn it on.